Good morning, this is Tom Rellinger with Rochester College. Sometimes the answer is right in front of us, but we can't see it. I'm a numbers kind of a guy. I'm not sure why or how it all started, but I like numbers. I'm one of those little off-center folks who actually love the feeling of a balanced checkbook to the penny. Give me an Excel spreadsheet with columns and rows and I get giddy. I know, you get the picture. The only problem is when it doesn't add up. I must have checked the columns and rows two dozen times, but my checkbook was off by several hundred dollars. I checked the bank statements, my checkbook, last month's statements, the online account, nothing. Still several hundred dollars off. Are you feeling my pain? I had a tension headache, tight shoulders, and was one breath away from kicking the wastebasket across the room. And then I found it. Finally the tension was gone, peace again. And you know what I learned? When you're balancing your checkbook, it helps if you use all the pages that the bank actually sends you, including the last page. After wasting nearly two hours trying to find the answer, it was sitting on my desk right in front of me all the time. I hadn't included the last page of the bank statement. Life is like a checkbook. It only balances when you put Jesus into the equation. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you, the proverb writer said. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, Hebrews 12, 2. Balance your day by keeping Jesus in the equation, and may you find direction in this day as you serve the Lord.